Hey guys, it's Stacy again, and today I want to show you how to make gelatin shots in the shape of a brain. Every year, people like to have jello shots at their parties. They, um, it's a lot of fun. People enjoy eating them, and they taste great. great. Now, for yeah. Halloween, I figured I'd take it a step up. Why not do something different, something fun, and a little bit, a little bit of spookiness, you know, to make it a little bit you know, um, even more fun for your friends and family. So what I did was, is I got, I went on the internet and PBP Box makes a gelatin shaped um, plastic uh, mold. So you can actually um, make the gelatin shots in the mold and it comes out to look like a brain, just like that. Yeah, put it up a little bit so you see. And it looks like a brain once you're done with it. So I'm going to go over how to make it for people who are unfamiliar with how to make a gelatin shot or just don't understand how much to use because it's a lot bigger than your regular gelatin shot plastic cups. So what I did was is I boiled hot water and then what you'll need actually is you'll need boiling water, you'll need um, regular water, cold water. So let me go grab that. Well, I'll be right back. I forgot to take it out ahead of time. Okay. And then um, you'll need uh, vodka. I like Tito's. Tito's is a great vodka and it tastes great. And when you make the gelatin shots, you it tastes very subtle. So you don't taste the, the vodka. It's not overpowering. You'll need your measuring cup, a bowl, a spoon to swerve it around and mix it with. And then I like to use a spoon bowl to actually, so you don't hurt yourself or hurt your hands or um, burn yourself. What I do is I use this type of spoon. Now, you can take about a cup of water, and this is the hot boiling water. So I'm gonna measure that right now. I like to be precise, because I've noticed in the past when I've done these things, even if I was a little bit off, it didn't come out right. It may not have mixed as well. So just make sure that you actually hit the one cup. Now I'm gonna put it in here, the one cup. Now this is a lot bigger. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do all the ingredients and then see how much it fills up so I have a good idea of how much more to do. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a half a cup of water, of cold water, and then add that to the bowl. And then I'm gonna grab my gelatin. Now I have strawberry and I have berry blue, but I think I'm gonna go with the strawberry because it kind of gives that blood feeling, you know, Halloween, blood, all the goriness and stuff like that. And I'm gonna add that in, shake it a little bit, open it up, put it in. Now I already bought now this gelatin is about, it's about eight and a half cup servings and it is six ounces. So you can actually only need one box, even if it's this big of quantity. Now as I mix it around, I'm gonna make sure I mix it well because a lot of times, a lot of the sugar and a lot of the portion of the of the stuff lays on the bottom. So you wanna make sure you get it really well. Now I'm going to very gently pour it in here. Now it fits about almost half. So what I'm gonna do, since I got six ounces of gelatin, I'm gonna add another cup of water. Because a lot of times when people make jello shots, they use three ounces of gelatin, but since we're doing a large brain, we're going to use the bigger box. So this is one cup of hot boiling water, and I'm going to just add it into the bowl to be on the safe side, because you don't want to add it in here, and then it gets higher than expected. You want to play it safe. All right, so then we're going to do another half cup of water. Now, I've mentioned this in previous videos. When I do this, I like to actually use bottled water or use filterized water and I don't use water from the sink because I've noticed in the past when I've used water from the sink, you don't get the same taste because a lot of times in different towns, the quality is different. So you want to make sure that you get 
good water because it definitely does make a difference in the taste. Okay, now we're gonna take our vodka and I'm gonna put one cup in. I'm gonna stir it just to mix around the vodka. And I'm gonna pour it. Now, I think this is pretty good. So when you look this up, you don't wanna put it to the top because you don't really want it to spill, get messy in your refrigerator. So something like this, leaving it about an inch to a half an inch below the actual mold is perfect. I also used a little pan, a little bacon pan, and I put it on the bottom. This way you have stability, and if anything spills, it's gonna spill in the pan, it's not gonna spill all over the refrigerator, and then you have a whole mess to clean. So that's about it. So what we did was we used um, vodka. Now when we did the first portion, I used about a cup of vodka, and then I, I actually I used a half a cup of cold water, uh, I used a cup of boiling water, and we used our six ounce of gelatin. This one was strawberry, and um, that's it. We have our spoons that we used, and our bowl, and make sure you use the big mixing bowl, that way there's less mess to clean up, and it's just as easy to clean just like any other bowl and your measuring cup, and that's it. You're all set. Now you put this in, you put it in the refrigerator. I would say keep it in for at least three to four hours. If you can keep it in longer, that's even better because the longer you keep it in the fridge, the more solid it's gonna become. So give it a minimum of three to four hours or more, and you got yourself a Halloween Jello Shop brain. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We do lots of different videos. We do fun videos for the holidays, do-it-yourself videos. We do videos about health and how to keep yourself healthy, your overall health. We also do videos on relationships and we do videos on every topic under the sun, fitness, exercise, you name it, it's on our website. So feel free to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the recipe I just talked about, feel free to leave it in the comment box, ask any questions that you need. And if you um, have any suggestions or thoughts, leave it in the comment box Guys, too. We, we always you. enjoy hearing from you. And thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this video. I'll see you soon.